Hello and welcome back to this musical and philosophical channel. And so philosophers about beauty, Aristotle, everything that comes into the field of your attention and uh, is perceived by your senses affects your condition, your mind, your thoughts, its effect. And that is why not only aestheticians, aesthetics were engaged in art issues, but also other philosophers. For example, philosophers of antiquity. Although aesthetics then existed only implicitly, that means only it was included in the corpus of general philosophical system, general philosophical questions. For Aristotle, man is a political animal, zon politikon. Uh, that, is, that means a living being designated for a harmonious, uh, reasonable coexistence with other, with other inhabitants and polis. Therefore, his conditions or she, uh, her conditions uh, should be adjusted and balanced, reasonably balanced. A citizen should have intelligence, valor, oratorical skills, of course, courage, and, uh, and most importantly, a sense of proportions. Geometry, physics, maths, astronomy, it was very important um, disciplines for antiquity. As is known, Aristotle possessed extreme uh, thoroughness and systematic thinking, methodically thinking. Thus, he divided the entire field of human knowledge uh, and skills into three large groups, three large spheres. Uh, theoretical or speculative, practical or reasonable, rational, reasonable, and creative, uh, so to say, productive, when we should, when we should create something. Yeah. And he attributed philosophy, mathematics, geometry, physics to the first, uh, ethics and politics to the second sphere or group, so practical, and art, crafts, uh, and applied sciences to the third, poesia, poetical. It's the letter that are designated by the term poesis, Something that can be made embodied in matter, with human mind, with human skills, with our ideas. The term is adjoined by the concept of techne. Uh, techne. Techne is both craft and dexterity and skills and art and also um, in a broader sense, a deception or cunning. Um, and a person who is highly qualified, uh, a virtuoso, a master of his craft, is a person who owns a techne. Techne is an auxiliary but necessary part of creative work, uh, kinetic activity that cannot arise naturally. It's very important. It, it, it's uh, something which was made by human being. Art is the work of human hands and mind. And it is in combinations, in combination, since not every creation is art, but only based on knowledge. Knowledge is very important part of our artistic activity. So the beautiful is always proportionate and proportional, uh, so to say, the beautiful, both animal and so everything, everything consisting of certain parts must not only have the letter in order, but also possess no random magnitude. Uh, beauty consists in magnitude and order, as, um, as Aristotle said in his, in his poetics, in his poetics. Uh, it's possible in the create, if the creator measures his powers with a good plan, with his ratio, ratio, and doesn't go against nature. 
The most important terms to mention are mimesis, you know, uh, similarity, reproduction, imitation, a term that originated, of course, long before Aristotle. But it was uh, Aristotle that gave him the proper form of creativity, uh, of creative imitation of nature and not just blind, blind copying of it, just uh, copying of this nature. Mm. Since the part of the poetics devoted to comedy hasn't been preserved, as you know, the reader can get acquainted with the concept of tragedy and epos. In uh, concept of tragedy in the most complete way, um, thanks to poetics, and um, poetics in turn also, and tragedy, tragedy in turn also serves the benefit of education. By the way, a noble um, citizen. In particular, another um, important word in this case is catharsis. Catharsis means something like purification. Uh, purification, elevation or healing, maybe healing. Uh, the process of empathy of emotions, conflicts uh, with the help of compassion and fear produces catharsis of similar um, fear and something like this, similar effects, uh, as Aristotle says himself in the Poetics. So, having experienced and felt everything together with the stage characters, with these artists, these actors, the citizen is freed from bad passions. And this is catharsis, this is something healing for him. And he doesn't carry them further. And the same, at the same time, the most important role he, here is given to music, by the way. Uh, it cannot be said that Aristotle's philosophy, um, at least the politic political part of it, uh, sympathize with the little man or ordinary man. No, absolutely not. In any case, in order to curb the demos, it's necessary to create an appearance of power for him. And it's necessary to do this because the crowd is guided not by ratio, but by ration rationality, by mind, by common sense, uh, but by opinions, emotions, and so on and so forth. And the theatrical audience also varies. And for recreation, demos need entertaining musical performances. However, for a third full feeling of leisure, free time, a citizen needs a different kind of music. It's very important. And for this, it's necessary to learn something and be educated, as Aristotle uh, said in Politics, in Politeia. Noble modes moderate passions, uh, polish the mind and educate uh, the perception of beauty. So it's something like education, real education. And this in turn is the most important quality of a free person, not a slave, but free citizen. So, art is the creation of an artist, of course, of course. At the same time, the most important thing here is knowledge, because for Aristotle, theoretical senses are always higher than practical ones. It's a fact. Only by knowing the general, we can create beautiful particulars. Only thanks our mind, rationality and knowledge. If you look at the works of sculptors uh, that Aristotle valued so much, for example, well, I don't know, Phidias or the creation of Phidias, then it becomes clear why uh, their knowledge of anatomy and the canons of noble upbringing is so important for an artist of antiquity. Even the courageous Amazons, even the goddess of hunting, Artemis, are always sublime and beautiful, you know, and their faces will never be disfigured by any harsh emotions, uh, ferocity or anger or something like this. Uh, their bodies are beautiful, their poses are harmonious, and so 
it's just the, uh, the sweetness for our mind, I think. And I wish you to create a work of art from your own life. Thank you for your attention. attention. I hope it was something useful for you. And good luck. Be happy. And see you later.